have a function here. That function is called pluck. And you, you might have no, you might have used that somehow, somewhere before. Okay. So what we have, this, uh, we're going to have the, the plug, what it does, you give it an object and you're able to get the properties of that object. So property name of that object. And that thing is an array. So we don't really care here at, at this stage. I'm just going to leave it like that for the moment. And what you want to do is like that thing to return you um a property name and opla so that was something was went really fast here property name and then okay i need to type it because it's 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 gonna help me uh, write faster yeah 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 i use any i know i can see you there already saying any stop using any slow down slow down i'm gonna fix it in a second i just need help a little bit here okay so now I have a map. That's why I use any because I'm not giving you away. I'm not giving away the, the thing right away. So now I have a map and I say for each key in that, I just want to get the object key, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see you, Chandan, saying uh, five euros. I, I'm going to pay those five euros. No worries. I'm going to get rid of them in a few seconds. Yeah. At Hackages, we have a rule that says if you use any, you gotta pay five euros for those any, but sometimes you need them. So that's why we give you credit that you can use them, okay? So um, now I have, a, I have a simple function here. So now let me use that function. I'm just gonna call that plug and I'm going to pass uh, something like a uh, name here and say Davy and then company say hackages, okay? So I don't know what happened with the uh, company here but so as you can see here uh, let me make sure that I'm passing the right argument so uh, yeah so that's the first one so give me a second we're fixing it and then an array that says okay I want to get out of that object uh, I, 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 I want to I want to get the same thing by just saying um, give me the 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 name okay so if I, I go here you can see that it returns me that 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 uh, array here so let me remove that putting a little bit outside so you can see what is happening here okay so that that basically work right so um yeah indeed any comes andy in in, in sometimes uh, believe me uh, uh matches that's that's completely true uh I, I use that but you still pay five years for that so it's it's, it's okay uh, uh so now let's go back and and make it work um and I, i'm so for example what i want to show you here is when i say that i can take the name you see it returned that uh, the name right there see so if i say i want a company it gives me the uh, the thing, right? So, so, but if I give a, a value that doesn't exist, I don't have an error. I have nothing, right? Now let's use typing and generics and key off to make that happen. Okay. So, um, the 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 way the way you go about it, you you for example say uh, you have object here. You want to make sure that okay let's 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 think about it for a second so what you have is is the fact that object will be used here as something right that has keys and stuff like that so instead of any right you can say this thing is is a key has a key and that that key is a string uh, a string here uh let me say here so uh, so that's a string and then it's going to return any because that you don't know and uh, and that's basically okay let me remove this for a second so we can can come back to it a bit later or i can put it a bit up there so it doesn't yes very good so let me go back here so wh what we have oh wow okay i just broke the internet with this okay so uh, what we have here uh, i just said this is a set of keys right so that that's one way of approaching it and then i will say what is any here 
what, what, what is it? What, what could be those property? Well, I think the property name are mostly string, right? So it's, it's, it's kind of thing, but that doesn't change anything. We're just typing the stuff. Now, let me leverage, uh, uh, um, uh, generics. Okay. So the way you will do that, you will say here, like, okay, I have, I'm going to have a, 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 a T which is going to be the type of my object. Right. And then small bug, and then you are going to turn instead of object here, I will say this is T. Okay. So now you can already see we have a small problem here, but we're not done. We're just transforming the entire thing. So now I'm going to have another property here. That is key. Uh, uh, sorry, K. That's K here. Where, where do you think K should go? K should probably be the, it's K is the, it's the property name. It's basically what you use on the property name. So K is the thing you use right here instead of string, right? So you're basically saying T is the object. K is the, the list of property. So the type within that, which we kind of know it's going to be a string in a way, but, um, we get a simple error here that now says type K cannot use, can count, cannot be used in index T. So there is literally something we can do there to fix that. Um, so, so someone is asking uh, any bad uh, about a uh, no. Yeah. The thing is like, okay, I, I can answer that question uh, right after. So keep, keep that. Uh, and, uh, the, the, okay. Quickly, here is the fact that you're trying to get a property inside that object, but that thing doesn't exist. So that your intention is to get that property, but you don't get it. Be, uh, you, you, by putting the thing there, you, you can also say, okay, I just wanted to see if the property exists in the thing. Uh, and that's a way, a one way of saying that. But you can also make sure that, okay, I want to make sure that that function always return me or check on the fact that that property is in there. Okay. So the way you do that here, you say, okay, that's a property. And now what you got, you're going to, you're going to do is to say T is object is of type T and then, um, property name is of type K uh, array of K. And then you see here, we have this small thing type K cannot be used to, to index type T. What do you think is the link between T and K? Okay, we have a small delay, so I'm gonna wait for, for you. So there is a link between T and K. So if you see, this is D and this is K. So there is a link between those two. So I'm gonna give you that because we, we, we're running almost out of time. So the link here is the fact that uh, K here is a set of keys from the type T, right? So what you could say here is K is K extend, right? So you're saying it's extend key of T, right? So what I just did right here, you can see right away that now we have an error that says, no, the type cannot be anything but name or company, right? So do you, 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 you see what just happened? I just say key extend this. It's, it's a set of key of that. Okay. So what basically this says, it says then key technically behind the scene, what is happening? It says, uh, key, uh, uh K here is, um, K here is, uh, of type, uh, what you basically saying in our case, it's going to be either Davy or company. But if you remember what we saw with the union before at the beginning, it, it's going to check on them. So that's where you actually leverage what we saw, like a discriminate, discriminated unions. It's basically saying none of this match, none of this match the thing you're looking for. Right. That's, that's, that's the thing. So here you're basically using that's it's called index types and you're using generics and key off to actually make your code safer or uh, uh, like stricter in term of making, making sure that you're not going to just have a bug in production, uh, for, for, for something not intended. Okay. So here we 
kind of not done entirely. I just want to make sure that you understand that what is the return type here? What will be the return type for you? Okay, giving that away. So we gotta have an array and that array is like this. Okay, and so now here I can change that and say, okay, I want Davy, I want the name. And then you see the name is coming.